G'day, fellas, and welcome to a casted game. We are here on Bridges? Yes, Bridges. I feel like I was Ron Burgundy and someone put a question mark at the end of my teleprompter. Bridges? Indeed, Bridges. Let's introduce our players. Sporting in the west side of the map, in the color teal. Playing as the English, it's Beastie. And on the east side of the map, in the color red, playing as the Chinese. It's Averly. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bridges. It is a pleasure to explore this map with you and to explore this map with some scouts. Now, my first question, do these bridges have fish nearby? And it doesn't look like they do. It is all fish free, baby. Which is, you know, if, if you're allergic to fish, you are going to be loving this map. Not allergic to fish, you might also enjoy it. You know, it's one of those things. Just because you're not allergic to seafood doesn't mean you don't enjoy the other stuff. That's exactly where we are. Now, speaking of where we are, I think it's time. You guys know exactly what time it is. What have we got going on right here? Look at this beasties pushing forward against Averly. We're looking to try and get a bit of a, a looksy into exactly what he's spotting out in the base. He's going to spot the TC. You're going to see the village. Nothing too exciting there. We run on board now. We can actually get a little bit of a split going on right here. And beasties being very aggressive with this early scout. We can see exactly how much coverage he's getting here. But... Still, despite that, Averly has got the sheep advantage this early on. So I'm not sure exactly how it's happened. I mean, I, I know how it happens. Because unfortunately, these maps, they don't always spawn perfectly. Now, uh, you, you would have seen or heard on my last video that uh, there is a song that's in the works. Well, it's not in the works. It's complete. Uh, although I'm not sure if I'm happy with, with all the lyrics just yet. So I might have to go back and, and, and do some re-editing. But I, I wanted to share some more of it with you just to continue teasing it. Just because, you know, I'm currently campaigning. I'm not not for any sort of politics or anything like that. But I'm campaigning to, to get caster mode. The, the treatment it deserves from the developers. And, you know, in, in line with that, I figured, well, we're going to have to go all out. We're going to have to do forum posts. We're going to have to do Reddit posts, Twitter posts. I'm going to make videos about it. I'm going to mention it in my videos. And most importantly, I'm going to do a song. Uh, and so I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of an, a sneak peek again for that song. Let me let me pull it up here for you. All right, you ready? Here we go. This is. I, I, I'm hoping I don't get DMCA'd. Get ready. So I thought that if I edited some split screen, you'd be glad that I could cover up the bugs that the forgotten empires had. Oh, why I'm no longer joking. Okay, I can't, I can't do more than that. I can't do more than that. It's just gonna, they're gonna hit me. They're gonna hit me. Did you guys see how I did the split screen at the same time as talking about the split screen? There you go. Anyway, this, this song, it's its an absolute banger. You, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Uh, but uh, look, that's all I can give you for now. Hopefully, YouTube doesn't DMCA me for it. Normally, they, I, you can get away with about 10 seconds. So I think that was about 10 seconds. Hopefully, uh, we're okay there. And, you know, worst case scenario, if they do, they do. You know, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing, because it's YouTube. Nothing you can do about it. Anyway, we've got Age Up starting to come through. No surprises just yet. Council Hall coming through for Beastie. On the other side of the map, the Imperial Academy is coming through. Now, let's talk about these two civilizations, because these two civilizations are two civs that are but just, in my opinion, the best civilizations, if you like to be greedy. I'm a greedy player. I love being greedy. That's my favorite thing about RTS games. In every single RTS that I've played, I love being the greedy guy. I don't know if you guys have watched my Beyond All Reason content, but man, those guys hate me over there because I was so greedy that I turned the community into like a really... A lot of the players just became very greedy and everyone just complained. They call them all drongos over there. If, if someone's just focusing on their economy and not making units, they call them a drongo. Uh, anyway... I love these two sims because they're both eco-focused. So I'm not going to be surprised if we do see late games happening. But naturally, when you're watching Beastie, he says, Drongo, I, I ain't got no time for late game. This is a tournament game. This is an elite classic game that we're playing in right now. I got to get through to the next round. So I'm just going to start by sending out some longbows. And I like that Beastie. In fact, what Beastie's doing with the three bills on gold to me indicates that he's planning on getting some eco upgrades and then maybe even sticking it out in feudal for a little bit longer. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see after this double broad axe, a potential, sorry, uh, uh, after we see this uh, wheelbarrow, if we see a potential uh, double broad axe coming in, um, I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Uh, and then follow, following that up with a horticulture and then maybe moving into a blacksmith. I feel like the blacksmith is a little bit optional at the moment. Um, you can just go castle instead or you can look for a second TC. Uh, but the, the blacksmith always makes sense though. Anyway, we'll check in on the other side of the map, though, because Averly, he's not going to have the opportunity to get down that Barbican super duper early. So instead, he's going to be opting to get the stable out quickly. Now, keep in mind, he did spot out his opponent's uh, Council Hall. 
Now, if we ride on board with Beastie, Beastie's scout is moving forward. And look at this. Does Beastie sense danger? Beastie, oh, you are so smart, man. How do you know? How do you know? Like, you you were pushing... Did he just check the gold and that was it and he just moved back? Like, he, he didn't... Yeah, see? Now he spots it. Now he knows. Now the scout is in danger. But Beastie's found everything that he needs to know over here. So he knows that his opponent is now looking to play a little bit into the feudal age. Depends how much he's going to want to get out of this. But it's, it's interesting to me that he's gone for Horseman. And I think this is a smart move because Horseman will allow him to shut this, this avenue down early on for scouting. And it's going to mean Beastie's a little bit, uh, not confused, but he's left in the dark about what he can actually get away with. Barracks is now coming up for Beastie and going to be looking to throw down some farms as well. So he had plenty of wood in the bank and obviously we see that double broad axe coming through now, but I wouldn't be surprised if next up we're going to be seeing horticulture clicked any second. There it is. Drongo, you just, you just know Drongo, you just know. No, look, it's, it, it comes with, it comes with the experience, guys. Just, uh, you know, that, it just, hey, leave it, <laughs> leave it. I was going to say leave it in your pants. Well, I guess I just did. <laughs> oh God. This is going to be a cursed cast. Hey, you know what? When they're cursed casts, they are the best cast. I will say that much. Every single time I'm out here talking about silly stuff, I, I have so much fun. I think that makes the, the cast... That, I think that makes the video better. Anyway, Scout's going to go down here. Immediately, the Horseman going to be looking to pu push up straight over to Beastie on that front. Keep in mind, still no spears out for Beastie. That's the first one right there. So, looks like Averly will be able to pick up a fair few pickups early on in this game. Not just the Scout, but also going to be getting double Longbow, which is going to slow Beastie down a little bit. Now, I think Beastie's in a bit of a tough spot here because Beastie doesn't know what to do, right? Like, Beastie's now thinking... Okay, if I want to get a scout out, I can, but I have to get it from my town center. So that's going to cost me at least one villager. And I don't want to lose a villager, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm playing the English, so I don't really want to be making a stable. Uh, I can, but I don't want to. So what do I do? Well, the safe thing in this position for Beastie is to make units. That's the safe thing. Because right now, Averly might not even be Song Dynasty. He might not be going for two TCs. He might not be thinking about Castle H. He could just be making units. And Beastie needs to be really careful about the potential threat of dying to that. So that's a really important factor that Beastie's got to consider. Now, hold on. I'm looking over at my other screen. I was, I was having some FPS drops. It seems to have fixed itself up. Uh, just because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching what's happening with the military of Averly. And you might be wondering, okay, Drongo, what's happening with the military of Averly? Well, let, let me show you what's happening. Hopefully the FPS drops aren't too bad. Uh, I, I, I noticed that now. So, uh, yeah, I'm just watching it. Just keeping an eye on it. But uh, beginning to push outside the base of Beasties. Just down here to the south. Making his way north slowly. Horseman numbers. Only two of them at the moment. But one of the things to note is that Averly playing as the, uh, the Chinese... It does have access to the archer, and that's typically the best way uh, to deal effectively with the uh, with with the English like this, because we do see uh, one of the most common things that the English are going to do is they're going to go spears and longbows. So what you want to be doing is just making only archers, and that way you can effectively deal with it. But have a look at what Averly's doing right now. He's going to be throwing down the Barbican of the Sun. We're going to see that down on the gold. So he's going to be thinking a little bit about his economy. Normally after this, you would expect to see a second town center thrown down. But I wouldn't be surprised with this many villas building this Barbican. And you can see them rallied over to the gold. I think he's going castle. Which is an interesting decision. But I do like that as well. Because going into the second town center, it is a bit of a commitment. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely, you know, b both options are really, really smart. But one of the big things uh, for Averly is that by going... Uh, to Castle Age, he's going to have access to the Palace Guard. And that Palace Guard, he can just spam. And very easily, he can deal effectively with all of these units. And on top of that, by having the Barbican on the gold, it guarantees he's got gold income for plenty of time. Does he not get either of those? Oh, you greedy boy. Averly, oh my lord, you hate to see it right there. So what happened? Averly didn't have enough sh archers to one-shot the, uh, the villagers. Short by one archer. A single archer would have made the difference there and tried to be cheeky and get the double, didn't get either of them. Does manage to still take one off the board, though. But still, I tell you what, that is a little bit sad. Anyway, we'll check in over on that east side. Walls have started to come up. Averly's position's not terrible. I do like his opening here, just going into a handful of, of horsemen and then following it up with nine archers. But I, I'd, I'd give him some feedback. I'd say, Averly, next time, go with... 10 archers. In, in fact, even go with 11 just to give yourself a little bit of security in case you lose one. I think about that, but look at this. Look at what Beastie's doing. We, you know, we talked about the fact that the, the blacksmith was optional. Beastie says, hey, mate, it's not optional. We're going to go put an outpost down. We're going to probably get some siege engineering in. I wouldn't be surprised if that's going to be coming up here. And he's going to look to start working on this front, but 
hold your horses because meanwhile we've got ourselves an age up beginning to come through take a look at this double racks now going to get thrown down exactly like we thought it's going to be palace guard six vills on the clock tower so it will slowly come up here and he's got plenty of vills on gold as well which will mean he's going to have access to upgrades expect to see a blacksmith oh, never mind the blacksmith is already here he's already got plus one never mind he knows what he's doing ladies and gentlemen this man is a professional now that's another thing i should mention is that of course these guys are professional players they're playing in the elite classic which will be happening this weekend in fact tonight from when this video gets posted about 12 hours after that so make sure you're paying attention um, to exactly when that is. Maybe ch check it in on Google. Type in, you know, EGC. No, don't type in EGC. Type in, well, I mean, type in EGC TV if you don't know where to find the link. But there's a link in, in my description uh, to that. Uh, but uh, type into Google the 15 GMT. That'll tell you the time zone. Well, not the time zone, but it'll tell you what the time is in your local time if you just type in 15 GMT. Now, one of the things we haven't really talked about is the bridges on this map i don't know if you can destroy them i'm not sure what the deal is with these guys i feel like you can never mind we can all right let's let's have a look wooden bridges can be damaged catch fire and be destroyed use attack move or at attack ground and target the bridge to destroy it sorry and target the bridge to attack it villagers can repair a damaged or destroyed wooden bridge all units on a bridge that is destroyed a kill oh my god what all units on a bridge that is destroyed are killed? They, what, they just fall into the water and drown? Wow. Does that mean if, if you've got a bombard, does it like one-shot the bridge? That's that's a scary thought. Meanwhile, it looks like another villager is going to be going down. That's that's not the villager that I was looking for, though. I don't know where that red villager was that's going down. Must, must have been maybe on the wood line here. Going to lose another one, though. It's two for two at this stage. We've got units in both sides of the map. I'm going to see if I can try and locate... Our, our different groups of units. Here we go. All right, go, Drongo. See what you got. There we go. All right, so we got Beastie pushing through over on this east side. Meanwhile, over on the other side of the map, it's a bit weird because we've got it flipped for, for the screen, but that's probably the best way I can do it. There we go. Nesta B is now going to be coming out. Should be able to easily defend this position here. Wants to make sure he doesn't lose this village, and that Nesta B needs to be careful about coming out too far just because those spears could potentially look to dive it. Meanwhile, over in the back of the base of Beastie, all of those archers will be cleaned up, but the men at arms are now online. So Beastie going to be thinking about going up to Castle as well. 12 minutes into this game, we'll switch it over to Income per Minute. Now, Beastie's in a bit of a tough spot because his units are trapped and... Oh no, the deer's gotten taken out! No, not really, Drongo. Come on, it's just a deer. It's just a deer. He's just a deer. Anyway, uh, now Palace Guards. Keep in mind, they should have their plus two. They do have their plus two. Uh, will look to try and defend this. Needs to pull villagers to get the repair in. There's one out here. He's trying his best to take out the longbows with it, but the surround coming through. Villagers, one more stab. He should be able to do it. Villager will get picked off, and there's the stab. Able to now clean up these spearmen, but unfortunately losing the most important thing, which was that nest of bee. Uh, just simply because it's 600 resources and just having it, if that had survived, oh my lord, you would feel amazing about yourself right now, but... Speaking of amazing, I think Averly's still feeling pretty good about himself because not only does he have Castle Age, but he's also got Song Dynasty, which means he is pumping villagers pretty quickly and he's starting to build an eco lead, which he's going to need because on the backside of the base of Beastie, a lot of bees in there for you boys, so a bit of alliteration. If alliteration started with a B, that would have been perfect, but unfortunately there's no other word that I could use uh, to talk about the, the basics of bad boy... Uh, no, nah, it, does, it doesn't work. Was, there's, there's literally no word. Um, anyway, Beastie try, trying to pick off more Vils. You can see him really looking to focus. Not going to be able to find... Oh, T TC is going to leave it here to do it. Do the work for him. There we go. They're all taken out. So the age up now comes through. Beastie, he's going to start climbing. So ideally at this point, Averly should... As soon as the English player ages up, now Averly needs to throw down a second TC. That is important because he needs to make sure that he stays in front. That is very, very... Uh, important so hopefully we see that thrown down any second now he's got the resources in the bank to do it um you could throw it down in the back of the base but to be honest you want to leave all this space for farms but you do want somewhere for tax or drop off so it looks like he's going to go towards the top side here definitely a, a good call he's got plenty of influence here but now that push is starting to come out and have a look beastie might be in a little bit of a tough spot here because palace guards not only have they got that plus two ranged armor which is going to give them a total of five They've also got that movement speed that's really going to start allowing them to excel here inside the base. And we can see the splits are already beginning to happen. Avely pretending to be a bit of a gymnast. Not going to be able to find too much work just yet. Villagers jumping inside the TC. Not going to be able to lose any just yet. Holding on. Villagers down towards that south side. No, I take it back. It's longbows. 
The lo longbows are looking to defend the relics. More relics coming through. One already picked up. Beastie, unfortunately, unable to, not to deny the second relic as well. Meanwhile, towards that top side, Palace Guards looking to come through on another angle. More and more men at arms starting to build. Now, you got to remember when these guys are fighting mono in mono, men at arm versus Palace Guard, the men at arm will win just because it's got the higher armor. Where the Palace Guard excels is running. It's very good at running. Even right now, it's got 1.38 movement speed compared to the men at arms with 1.12. So it's much faster than the men at arms. But just keep in mind, that's not the fastest it goes. It also goes significantly faster when it's charging or when it's in Yuan Dynasty. So we'll keep an eye out for that. But they can go as fast as a horseman. So we need to be really, really careful. When, when they're charging, they can go as fast as a horseman. So we've got to be very careful uh, with uh, potentially allowing the palace guards to get past. Sacred Sight in the center. Just going to get walked over. Will reveal his position. The outpost is also going to spot it. The relic will be thrown down onto the ground. Now, keep in mind, Beastie is yet to get any monks out. But I suspect he's probably thrown monasteries down. No, he hasn't. A bit weird, but I guess he was so far behind from his opponent that he just kind of knew he's not going to get relics because he's so slow to castle age. And I'm going to be honest, I need to compliment Averly here. His decision making this game has been absolutely perfect. I would have expected him to follow up with the second TC because that's what I would have done. But the way that he went into castle that he and he looked to pick up relics immediately, defending with the nest of bees and the palace guards, it's just been a really o decent opening coming out from him. And I, I feel like he is playing... Age of Empires, the same way that you would play chess. He has outmaneuvered Beastie in this early game by far. At this stage, he goes into the mid game a clear favorite. Let's see if he's going to be able to hold this lead as Beastie looks to push in towards his opponent's base now. Crossbows together with a handful of palace guards and the second nest of bees arrives just on time. Town center. Actually, I take that back. Barbican. These villes are just going to get pulled over. I'm not sure exactly what the plan is for it, but it, you can see Beastie's just focusing down the villes. I don't know how much I agree with that. More villes going to get focused down here. Beastie slowly but steadily able to take out the, the village account of his opponent. And I guess he just realizes that, you know what? If my opponent's on 2TC, I need to do something to, about that village account. But keep in mind that every time he takes out a villager, it's one less unit that he's taking out as well. So those unit numbers for Averly continue to climb. And while Beastie sure he's got the defensive advantage, he's got to be careful. Those nest of bees, they don't mess around, especially when it comes to getting on the offensive. So he needs to be extra careful now. All right, on that backside, you can see Beastie still focusing down the villagers in this situation. Averly probably just needs to move these villagers on out. Might be the best call for him. He's now going to throw down another granary, second granary coming through, uh, looking... Am I saying granary or granary? It should be granary. Um, should be looking for that big transition through and he's definitely fighting it now. So there's a little bit of berries, a little bit of berries down here as well. Men at arms is out. But uh, we see Beastie's going to be moving into a crossbow men at arm comp... Uh, I was going to say competition. Composition. Uh, which is definitely the right call against the Chinese. Just because they love to go for palace guards crossbow. And palace guard crossbow loses to men at arm crossbow. Just because the men at arms are just so much tankier than those palace guards. Let's actually compare the pair right now. So we've got 7 melee armor, 155 health. Compared to 3 melee armor, 155 health. Uh, I mean, technically we can get this up to 5. Uh, but uh, you, you get the idea. Uh, and this can also go up to 8. Uh, a, a total of 8. Uh, so in, in the end, it works out to be three armor difference which really starts to stack up you know 12 attack against 12 attack so the attacks are, are even and the main difference is you're trading out speed for armor You've got tanky boys versus speedy boys triple nest of b at this stage beastie needs to respect this he needs to be throwing down his own um he, he has to be going for his own siege workshop right like th this is too many nest of bees now you have to you have to be doing this you, you can't deal with this with men at arms just because you'll get blocked on the front. Uh, this is way too many nest of bees here. Uh, so ideally, BC does move into the Springled. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a second Siege Workshop also coming down. We've got the first one. He's just gonna, he's just gonna go with one. He's also put it on the front, which I'm not a huge fan of just because it's going to be the first thing that gets focused down. And, and this is what you're always looking for, right? Like if you're if you're pushing as the Chinese, you're looking for the Siege Workshop as your opponent is is trying to prepare that defense. But have a look at this. Clock Tower Springle now going to be coming out as well. So Averly going to be going on the uh, on the defensive in that regard. So going to be looking to counteract that potential response from his opponent. Towards the south, Alice Guard's now going to be looking to break down walls. Keep in mind the English... 
They don't take their berries. There's no real point. The berries are just nowhere near as efficient as farms. Farms are so damn cheap. We might as well just always farm, and that's exactly what we do. So definitely the right call here from Beastie, but it does leave these awkward little spots in your base where you just can't fill up. And I know that in whenever you're playing like no rush games, you just eat those berries anyway, just because you need the space. You got to clear the space. All right, Men at Arms coming through the back here. Beastie's taken out 18 workers already this game, which is a pretty decent amount when you think about it. Uh, we have stone walls beginning to come up, so Beastie actually going to be able to secure this northern side. But have a look at this on the other side. Averly's trying his best to get um, just normal walls up, the Palisade walls. Both players walling in each of the uh, each of the the corresponding players' bridges, and it looks like. Averly's going to be able to get it up, but remember that these are Palisade walls, and unfortunately, there's still one a gap right here. He's going to try and get a little bit of a tap on it. Oh my lord! Chinese build speed is absolutely amazing. Meanwhile, so I'm suspecting he probably just makes a single ram here and just rams this down, right? Like this, th th that's what the rams are really good at. You just set and forget, and the ram will do the rest. Meanwhile, towards the middle of that base, yeah, I was going to say, this is probably not a good idea, Averly, diving into this. There are so many crossbows together with the men at arms. Like the men at arms are going to be able to tank up the, uh, the palace guards and the crossbows will kill them. So you're going to be very careful in that situation. So definitely doing the right thing here. Village account still in favor of Beastie though. Keep in mind, he has taken out a lot of workers here. Two TCs against two. But we do have that Song Dynasty in play. Build up continues for each of these guys. And we now start to look towards the Imperial Age. Both players very cognizant of the strength of their respective civilizations in the Imperial Age. Remember these two civs. Uh, if I was going to be honest, I'd, I'd say both of them S tier for Imperial Age. It is just a whole different ball game when you're playing these civilizations in the late game. The English is an absolute powerhouse with its enclosure technology, its men-at-arms, and of course, its longbows with special arrow volley ability. On the side of the Chinese, they've also got access to an infinite gold mechanic, that being tax through the Imperial official. You can see this bad boy right here collecting 41 tax. On top of that, he's also got access to relics. He's only got four, though. The fifth relic has not been scouted by Averly. Beastie has scouted it. He just didn't bother picking it up. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Beastie going to be going for a sneaky little box here. I like this. I think now it makes a little bit more sense to go into trebuchets. But can you really afford the population? Probably. Probably. I mean, we're sitting at 148 and 170 here. Averly's only on 84 workers because he's been losing a fair bit. He's lost 23 so far. So he should be sitting on 108 right now. So Beastie's done a pretty decent job of actually keeping him down. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm impressed that Beastie's managed to take out that many workers and not really lose that badly on the military count. He's managed to keep up pretty effectively. But now that Imperial Age comes through and we straight away see Averly's proxy base has been discovered by Beastie. It's going to be that Barkshire that's just slowly but steadily working it down. Expect to see all those important upgrades start to come through here for Beastie. Uh, enclosures are going to be on, on the top of his list. Also big upgrades as well like Cupolation. Uh, expect to see that cross-cut saw as well. Hasn't picked up forestry. Interesting. This pays off at 3,000 wood, if I remember correctly. So it does definitely take a while, especially for such a cheap upgrade. Relic towards the south. Averly should have spotted out that fifth and final relic here. We'll switch it over to Beastie's perspective. But on the other side of the map, the Spirit Way is going to be going up. Where is he putting it down? Towards that top side. Spirit Way, just, just a bit of information for, for every... Every, every aspiring Chinese player, Spirit Way is really good to put in your uh, farms. And the reason why we do this is if you have a look at the granary, granaries, sorry, they've got 350 tax, right? And this tax needs to be collected. The problem is this granary is too far away from these tax drop-off buildings. So you can't actually pick up the tax for it uh, unless you do it manually. So what you can do is you can put the Spirit Way inside the farm so just over here at the back or even just right here is absolutely fine as well or on top of that uh food villages are the best to normally uh, go to imperial age with because typically you've got a, a fair decent amount of food in the, in that stage of the game but yuan dynasty now going to be coming online here for Averly. that's going to mean faster units remember the palace guard we talked about earlier and its movement speed Congratulations, it just got an upgrade. 1.58 movement speed now. Compare that to the Men at Arms, which is on 1.12. You're talking about a huge increase in movement speed. 
What is what is that? Like an extra 50% movement speed? Kind of wild when you think about it. Anyway, Relic towards the south. He's going to get picked up here. Enclosures has come through for Beastie as well. Looking to pick up all the other upgrades. We also see in a network of Citadels on the line. And Beastie just going to walk past. Allow the Monk to escape safely. Definitely a an interesting decision. Maybe not a decision. Maybe it was just uh, one of those things. Meanwhile, more upgrades starting to come through. It's going to be Copulation for Beastie. We also see Elite Upgrades now arriving for the Men at Arms just in time as the fight about to begin for both players. Elite Upgrades coming through at the same... Wait, 20 seconds. Why did I think that I was like two seconds away? In, in my mind, it was two seconds away. Uh, that, that was not the case. Beastie going for some walls. This, this much can be said. He is walling the entire map right now. All right, Beastie. Let's see how it goes. Meanwhile, towards the north, Men at Arms now going to be able to clean up that little proxy base. And Beastie has completely wiped his opponent off the Northern Isle. It's going to leave just the South Island for Averly to take. Keep in mind, Averly has not put any pressure at all through this angle. And Beastie now has access to a huge amount of gold here. And he is gathering it hard. He is leaving every other bit of speck of gold out here on the map for Averly to take. And he's just going to take these two 8k golds in the north. Probably not the fairest of trades. I think Donald Trump might be complaining about this, this, this trade deal, that's for sure. Anyway, our first player to reach 200 pop. It's going to be Beastie. Decent sized economies. Now looking to pick up roller shutter triggers as well as elite army tactics. So we see all of these Imperial Age upgrades starting to come through. Palace Guards realizing that, oh, you know what? There is a stone wall on that other side. We might, uh, we might need something a little bit bigger to get through. Still no gate through here. It is coming up now, slowly but steadily. A little bit of a walk around here to get, to get through. Springle's firing at the men at arms on the sacred site. No, sir, not today. That's my sacred site. No player yet to actually throw a dock down in this river. Uh, because Averly could just put a dock down and then just go across. But how do you deal with the Barkshire? I think the best way to deal with the Barkshire is probably just going to be with rams. But then you've got villages that are nearby, right? Like Beastie pulls the villagers, half of them kill the rams, the other half repair the Barkshire, and you're fine. So you're going to need to bring units as well. But speaking of villages, have a look at this beastie migrating to the north. We are beginning to see movement out from these two players. It's been a little bit of a stall out as we reach the 27th minute. It's been a, a little bit of action as we've gone through this game. But beastie's hunting. You can feel he wants it. There's a lot of units here as well. What's he thinking about doing? He's going to send the crossbows in. I think he's looking to sacrifice the crossbows, realizing that, you know what? These crossbows, they're not that important. I don't want to get elite upgrades for them. So it's better that I throw them away right now, get rid of them. And what that means is that by doing that, I'm going to free up my own population space. And it's not going to be when the fight is happening. It's going to be right now so that I can replace them with my relevant units, whether that be men at arms, whether that be uh, hand cannoneers. And you can see he's trying to get a bit of value here out of these, but mm, it's, it's really not happening, Chief. Springhold's going to get taken out, though. Averly definitely finding a little bit more value than his opponent is. That is for sure. Meanwhile, back towards that east side. The Nest of Bees going to be moving back. You can feel that maybe Beastie was looking for a bit of a bait right there with the Horsemen in position to potentially take out those Nest of Bees. There was not really a lot about... Speaking of a lot about, have a look at the amount of siege that's up here. So much siege. Six Springholds. Keep in mind, you just took out your opponent's only Springholds. And now, Village is going to be rushing to throw up a wall. He needs a gate, though. That's not what he needs. Oh, my lord. Now, moving forward, it's going to be a hand cannoneer or two with some crossbows on the back. And all the siege gets eaten alive as Beastie takes the track. Have a look at that. Elite Horseman just pumping through. Biology upgrade also, too. Things have gone well right now for Beastie as he cleans up all of the siege from Averly. A really decent trade as siege on both sides goes down. It looks like for the moment, though, Beastie's going to begin a, a, a bit more of a transition. Have a look at this. Elite Knights on the way through. Now, one thing to note is that English Knights are incredibly good. Not a lot of people consider this, but you've got insane amounts of attack speed with the English Knights. Whenever your opponent stands too close to a building... Congratulations, you get free attack speed. And that allows you to turn that knight into an absolute superb killing machine. 
better than any other knight in the game. With maybe exception of like the Gilded Knight, which doesn't really count because it's technically two knights. Um, what else is there? The Cataphract? No, the Cataphract. I mean, it's probably it probably loses to the, the Cataphract probably loses to it. Uh, what what else is there? Uh, the Imperial Guard from the Juicy Legacy? Maybe could work. All right. Well, you know what we're seeing right now? Avil is actually using his Imperial Spy ability, and he's got to spot out all the villagers from Beastie. He knows exactly where they are. So naturally, we can see him moving units in that direction. He wants to try and find any economic operations that he can disrupt. Unfortunately, with Beastie having these knights out, Beastie should be able to clean it up. And remember that these knights have got 1.62 movement speed. Have a look at that. 1.94 on the palace guards when they're charging. They are very, very quick units. But they're going to be forced away from the center here as the army for Beastie begins to push forward towards the top. Palace guards still running through. Just chilling on the bridge at the moment. Very, very dangerous, my friend. Just remember that with those bridges, if the bridge goes down, everybody goes down together with the bridge. It, it's, it's like a ship, but everybody on the bridge is the captain. And you guys know the rules, right? If, if you have the captain, yeah, he's, he's got to go down with the ship. There, there's no two ways about it. I mean, unless you're on the, was it the Concordia? In which case you don't have to. That's fine. You know, everybody else can go down. Not you though. That's what happened, right? I'm remembering that correctly. There was a... There was a ship... That literally went too close. Struck something. Begun to capsize. And the captain's like, yeah, alright, let's go. He leaves it. There's still people on board. And I'm pretty sure they, there was like... There were people that died, dude. Like, that's kind of wild when you think about it. Anyway, speaking of death, have a look at this. Springles, Bombards, taking out this bottom side, but... Even though Avalee's losing this stone wall, he's got bigger problems. He never replaced this wall on the top side. Is this his greatest mistake? Will it be? Look at him running around. He's like, oh God, oh man. You know, I should have fixed that. It would have taken me six seconds and I could have done it. I had the resources for it. I just, I didn't think about it. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that problem loud and clear. And now Beastie looks to take advantage of that. 31 workers taken out already this game. Beastie now going to make to look that number climb even further. I don't know what language that was that I just spoke. But remember, I am very tired right now. Actually, I don't know if I told you guys. It's uh, it's 3.30 in the morning. It's uh, it's it's pretty early. Uh, but I've, I've been up since uh, been up since 6 a.m. I had a wake-up call from a little guy. 6 a.m. And have a look at this. Relics on the ground. Men at arms towards that top side. No villagers to be found as the knights just sit a little bit over towards that eastern part waiting for anything. Rewall's going to come through. One Looks like one man at arms is there to meet them. Meanwhile, hand cannon here together with the crossbows. Keep in mind, they're not elite upgraded, these crossbows. They haven't been deleted like how Beastie did it. All three relics now going to be out on the ground here. Keep in mind that technically Avely does have five relics. I don't know where that fourth one is. One, two, three, four. Uh, where's that fifth one? I don't know where the fifth relic is. Did he just never bring it in? Maybe that's the case. 41 workers down so far. Avely's still on 120 vils. I'm not even fussed, and I don't think he is. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what? H how? What's going... How did you guys get through? Were these just left over? I think these were left over, and they went for a little bit of a run. Hardened Spearman coming out. Nice to see. It's a good time to be a hardened spearman. 34 minutes into the game in Imperial Age. Def okay, all right. Veterancy, I can respect that. Avely Max, 200 out of 200. Beastie pretty close as well. Beastie secured up all of that position on the north. Manages to take the resources. Only the stone going to be... Is Beastie going for a, a wonder? He could totally go for a wonder. I don't know if he's got the stone for it. That's going to be the issue. He's taking this big stone. It's no... I don't think there's any stone left in the map. Have a look at this, though. Beastie's just going after the central gold. This is kind of wild that Avely's able to stay in the game so long despite not having any gold whatsoever. Like, it, it's literally just... How does he have 2,200 gold a minute? Okay, there, there's got to be gold somewhere. Okay, there it is. Okay. I was going to say, like, geez louise, that is absolutely ludicrous. Hand cannoneers are up on top. Have a look at this. Standing their ground. Keep in mind, they get extra range up here. More range than a the longbow. They outrange the English longbow. 7.5 range versus 7 range. And now battering rams looking to ram down these doors. Vil's going to be taken out here as well. 
Avil is struggling to keep his head above water. We can definitely feel it now. The pressure is on. Beastie is turning it up to 11. Coming in from every single angle. Attacks on the south. Attacks to the north. Attacks at the 6 o'clock. Attacks at the 12 o'clock. Where else are the attacks, Mario? Come on. Give me the clock. I, I like the clocks. Attacks at the 3 o'clock. Whoa. There you go. Hand cannon numbers are starting to build up, though. He's up to 18 hand cannoneers. I don't think he's going to move into grenadiers. You'd be kind of wild to do that. I feel like the grenadiers are just such a shitty unit. Don't even bother. It's such a waste. Speaking of waste, right here, we've got a couple of palace guards. You've got to pull those bad boys through. Villagers making it work. A lot of vills here. He's fighting over this gold. Only 500 left in it. Siege is going to go down. He's cleaning up the remnants. And villagers totally... 60 or vill villagers totaling 65 have gone down this game so far from beastie's kills avely's managed to take out 15 and keep in mind behind this beastie's got a big beautiful wall that is impenetrable to these pesky palace guards speaking of pesky have a look at this it's just being slightly annoying but i think he's done a decent job abs uh, or avely has done a decent job of stopping this attack this strike has been cut short. Big, big build up now towards this bottom side. You can see he's grabbing every little bit of gold he can before he has to get on out of here. But more knights have broken through. How did they get through? Did we not rewall? We haven't rewalled yet. There you go. There's your answer. He's actually going to rewall this top position. We don't have a dock by the looks of it. Meanwhile, Vils just able to take out these rams so damn quickly. Textile upgrade is through, so they've got plenty of health on them in the, in the case that there's a threat from units. Meanwhile, these palace guards still doing a decent job of just keeping the enemy occupied. Needs to get this rewall in immediately. Still on 1,100 gold a minute. Keep in mind, a lot of that is going to be tax. Uh, some of that is also going to be relics. So you can see he's already rebuilt all three of the pagodas. Thrown the relics inside. He does technically have five relics. There we go. Not technically, actually. It, 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 there's nothing technical about it. He's got all five relics. So that's going to be trickling in gold for him as well. Beastie actually hasn't captured to Sacred Site. Uh, that's an interesting decision right there. Triple Bombard coming out for... Be uh, quintuple Bombard coming out for Beastie here. Hand Cannon is looking to tee off. He's going to need a little bit of support. Oh my god. Oh my god. Have a look at how many units he's got in queue here. He's got 33 hand cannoneers. Each one of those is 120 gold. You're talking about more than 3,000 gold sitting in there for the hand cannoneers right now. Ready to go. Uh, Beastie? Uh, Beastie? Have a look at the military pop at the top, baby. Beastie? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, we gotta, we gotta get ourselves... See, the problem with killing your enemy's villagers is they just replace it with military. Wait, oh, is Beastie going full bombard? Is, is this the super strat that we've heard about? Is this it? Could it be it? Where you just go mass bombards? I don't think it's it. I don't think this is it, kids. Don't, don't, don't hold me to it, but I suspect the mass bombard strategy will not be particularly effective against 300 palace guards. Maybe not 300. 200 palace guards. I mean, at the moment, it's 42. All right, Avely, I'm going to give you a hot tip right here. You have got 14 crossbows. They still don't have their elite upgrades. Just get the 14 crossbows and just attack move at this barracks. That's it. Don't even attack move. Just attack the barracks. There you go. That's my tip. Those 14 crossbows could be 14 palace guards, 14 hand cannoneers. They could be 14 spearmen. I don't know. They could be 14 of something that's not a crossbow. We can say that much, though. Because even though they've got up... Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, he's taken my advice. Look at this. Maybe not all of the steps in reproducing exactly what I said, but I will accept this. I think I think this is acceptable. Let's check in on that top side. You can see Beastie's just got full control. He's, in fact, started building farms up here as well. Meanwhile, towards the south, not a whole lot is going down here, uh, going on down here, but we do see the Monk is still chilling. So this is something you've always got to be careful of. Nice little rewall comes in. Look at that. Avely going to stop it. And we start to see the palace guards making their way across. Keep in mind, if, if something crosses this wooden bridge, all units on that bridge is destroyed. Sorry. All units on a bridge that is destroyed are killed. Could you word that better? Maybe? Possibly? We got a bit of a snipe coming through here. No, he's going to go for villagers instead. 
He said, hey, I've freed up heaps of population space. No, you've freed up heaps of population space for me. I'm going to help you out. Let me take out some of your vills. Beastie's going to try and hold this just with villagers. Now, keep in mind, he's got the court architect upgrade. 1950 extra health. More units are going to be rallied across. Vill's now going to be looking for wood as well. That's why he's over here, because he's got no extra resources. Now, have a look at Beastie, though. Beastie's got so much wood inside that base. So many resources just ready to go because he's got villagers on the North Island that are doing all the choppity choppity chop. Now, there's still plenty of chops up here for Averly to have. He needs to win this island, though. And I think this was a big part of why he's in the position that he's in right now. It's because Beastie's had this island for so long. Meanwhile, back towards the base... Looks like the defense has been held for the moment. There is a bit of a weak spot in the wall. Mangonel Mangonels together with Springles. This is a bit of a weird combo coming out from Beastie. A lot of siege in, in here. The six Springles in particular is very strange to me. But towards that top side, look at this. Beastie keeping this Barkshire alive. Villagers, it's hard to pay attention when there's so much going on. He's putting pressure on towards the walls on the south. So naturally, you're going to be looking down there. And now, looks like Averly's going to try and clean up these villagers. Now, keep in mind, there is a big presence of horsemen here, which will look to immediately get to the back. So many farms here. Oh, things are not getting pretty, though. Bombard's going to come out. Units moving towards that top side. Barkshire still alive. 2,700 health. He's focusing it down as much as he can. Does get the rewall back in over on that west bridge. Horsemen now looking to clean up villagers. Beastie says, hey, I, I heard that it worked out really well for you last time uh, when we just killed all your villagers and you turned them into military units. Did you want me to do that again for you? And he's like, yeah, sure, go for it. Looks like the keep might be going down here. Or the, the Barkshire, rather, will be going down. Uh, I like that the palace guards here are just, you know, making sure the coverage on the lumber camps is also decent. Uh, good on them, good on them. Meanwhile, on that backside, palace guards together with the hand cannoneers We'll be able to clean it up, but there's 128 workers. Look at the villager count. It's it's absolutely falling right now for both of these players. They are massacring each other. Is that even a term? Can I even say that? Massacring? There is a massacre. There is a, a mutually assured massacre that is happening right now. Averly's going to drop a third TC. This is where it gets serious. By dropping that third TC, he's saying, I'm making sure that if you kill villagers, I can replace those villagers. It can be difficult in the late game to find the stone to do it because you've got so many competing priorities. You've got to repair your stone walls. You've got to rebuild your stone walls. You've got to get keeps up. You've got so many things to think about. A town center is normally not one of those on, on the high priority list. Kind of like caster mode when you think about it like that, Drongo. High priority list. Anyway, so, you know, it's... I, 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 did, I need to make sure that that's always in, in your mind, you know, that the 1v1 casting experience is, is, is wonderful could be better but it's still wonderful the ffa casting experience not so wonderful i would say that that is pitiful and that's being polite Averly, village account stuck at 70 the beastie 95 a huge amount of military on the field though and keep in mind he's got a lot in queue 77 palace guards here is he thinking about landmark sniping if he wants to go for a landmark snipe, he needs to, like... I think he needs to wall this in or something. He can't even wall it in. It's got a trade post next to it. Maybe, like, sprinkled emplacement on the outpost. I don't know. How do you... Because he's just going to keep re-walling. Is he thinking about a landmark snipe? What's the deal? Maybe he's just being... Maybe he's just being annoying. I think he's just being annoying here. But the, the way that his palace guards are positioned on the south... Maybe he's just looking to try and bring his opponent down towards this angle. I'd love to see him buy a little bit of stone just to fix these walls up as well. Just to make sure you don't have any more horsemen running through. But I don't know. Maybe that's your thing. I, I think it definitely could be his thing. We've seen it so many times. Towards that west side, palace guards will get cleaned up. Ram also going to get taken out. Where are the other palace guards? There they are. They're just kind of chilling out. Still in the Yuan Dynasty, by the way. Has not gone for the Ming Dynasty. And keep in mind that the Yuan Dynasty is considered by many to be the best dynasty. Um... So I, I wouldn't be surprised to just see him chilling out in the Yuan Dynasty. One of the things to note, though, is we haven't really seen him use the Spirit Way just yet. Uh, the, the most common way that I like to use it, uh, because one of the things that the Spirit Way does is it gives a special bonus to your Dynasty units. So it allows them to uh, increase attack speed and health of nearby units when they die. So they kind of sacrifice themselves. So what I like to do is I mix, um, I mix in Fire Lancers, 
with my palace guards. And what that does is when a fire lancer dies, it buffs all of the units that are around it um, and gives it a little bit of extra health, gives it a little bit of ac attack speed as well. But it looks like towards the top side, the battering rams will be taken out. There's a lot of palace guards making their way through here. A single man at arms to greet them is going to chase them off and say, get on out, go on, get, get, get on out of here. Horsemen now sieging down the workshop. Sieging down the siege workshop. Oh. Oh, why though? Is it because you just want the wood? That's a lot of stone invested for not a lot of... I mean, maybe the sacred site? Sure. Okay. Is, is this how... Is this how important wood is at this stage of the game? Like, just this many stragglers? Oh, he's gone for it! He's, he's found a way through. Have a look at this. Sneaky, sneaky beaky. Avely says, you know what? You walled off the entirety of the map, but you forgot one part. You forgot the bridge in the north, just like Jon Snow did. Now making his... I, I, don't, I honestly don't know if, if that is accurate or not. I just know that Jon Snow is always talking about the, the north and the walls and the cold. It's, it's the cold, right? Like there's, there's something cold that's happening. Anyway, have a look at this. Beastie going to be looking to defend the longbows. Teeing off elite upgrades have come through. Holding on for dear life. The defense is looking solid. But remember these palace guards, they don't stop. They do not stop. Battering rams are down here. What are these villagers going to have to do now? We still got wood together. He's going to throw down a stone wall gate. He needs to keep these alive. 86 workers against 96 workers. Normally at this stage of the game, you've got 130 plus vills and your man fighting in the middle. But these two guys are just making sure they're fighting around the corners of the maps, looking for some sort of way to, to get through. Meanwhile, it looks like up towards that top side, the men at arms have found the villagers on the stealth forest. Have a look at this though. Palace guards could 100% eat these guys alive. These are only longbows. But I guess in saying that, that they're only longbows, uh, maybe then you free up the population space for men-at-arms or something scarier. Vils could siege down this battering ram, and then they don't have to worry. That's what I'd be thinking about doing. It's got 28 health on it. Men-at-arms still killing Vils. He's on 68 workers. Does look to clean up the men-at-arms. Rewall coming through. Not going to be able to find it. And have a look at that. The arrow volley just absolutely melting through those palace guards. I don't think I've ever seen that many arrows in my life. Did you see how quick that was? That was absolute insanity what we just witnessed right there. Sacred site now going to be neutralized on the south side. A single villager going to try and get the torch in before the horseman can take it out. He gets it, baby. Doesn't that feel good? And now, unfortunately, on both sides, if he throws a gate down here, he could actually just get up on top of the stone wall. That's what I'd be... Throw the gate down, get up on the gate into the stone wall. That, that's, why, that's how you keep them alive. Now, palace guards through into the middle of the base. Keep in mind, towards that top side, the Barkshi is still alive. It is still healthy. It is still wealthy. It's feeling good about itself. So don't worry about the prospect of a landmark snipe. Not going to happen just yet. Villagers getting eaten alive down here. Does have the stone to throw that extra little bit of... Uh, that extra down uh, the, the gate, but not going to be going for it. And Palace Guard still behind the scenes doing absolute work here. 47 villagers. Where, where is he losing them? Is it just down here? I think this has got to be the spot. The only spot that it is. And now looking to focus down the farms. Fuck you in particular, he says. Looking to look at the... Having a look at the King's Palace. Longbows together with the hand cannoneers. Remember, they got that extra attack speed. Just looking to blitz through all these palace guards, firing off in the arrow volley. Oh, my Lord. They're, they're firing out like three to four shots, arcing through the air at the same time. Have a look how quick it's going. Maybe not three to four. It's, like, it's probably like two to three. It is uh, it is kind of wild watching those guys fire. Meanwhile, Averly is building up the bombards. Something really scary when your opponent builds up a lot of bombards like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that's 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 not good. I think Averly's definitely aware of a landmark victory. I, I feel like he, he wants to go for it. He just needs to put the chess pieces in the right position. You know, he needs to get the bishop over to... Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's been too long since I played chess. I'm, I'm, well, you know, with like the four move checkmate, that's the one I'm trying to think. Like, yeah, he needs to, needs to put his pawn into E4. Yep, yeah, okay, I've done that. Now he needs to move his bishop to. I, I, I can't even see it, dude. I, I don't. I don't even know what the squares are called. I'm, I'm gonna go with like. Can we? Can we say like G6? Like a G6. Like a. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, like a G6. Do, does the chessboard even go to G? A B C D E F G. Yeah, it does. It goes to H, man. Look at that. I gotta play more chess. Oh 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 oh. All right. So. 
We were talking. Oh, oh, that's alien technology. You, you want to know something? If if the bridge dies with the alien technology, so th this is alien reproduction technology, uh, these guys won't die because these are technically, if you have a look, they're hover vehicles. So they can actually just go over the water as well. Um, a lot of people think that's bugged. It's not bugged. That is intentional. That is by design. That's what happens when you have these bad boys right here. Have a look how many he's got. 91 with 55 in queue. Just delete the villas. G genuinely delete the villagers. You don't need them. You, you need to make sure this attack works if you're going to go for it. Hand cannon is going to be able to defend the bombards. Now, the other thing to note is this, this region right here could be region locked depending on whether you've got appropriate uh, stone. Meanwhile, down towards the south side, the front wall has been opened up. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of landmarks to take out here. You're going to have plenty on the cards. Now, the Yuan Dynasty... Elite Fire Lancers look to come through. Oh, no. Oh, no. He, he, what if he sacrifices? Sacrifice the bridge to save yourself, Beastie. Do it, Beastie. He's going to turn around. There's docks starting to come up. The demo ships, are, he's looking for them. He wants to take them out. He needs to just run past. He needs to run past. Beastie looking to try and block here. Oh, my God. The, the, look, have a look at this. Northern Landmark has been taken out. Meanwhile, here, Beastie trying to block. He wants to focus the bridge down. If the bridge goes down, the Fire Lancers can't get through. If the Fire Lancers can't get through, then that's it. The, he deleted the battering ramps. I don't know exactly what happened there. Demo ship coming in underneath. Trying his best to get through. Still maxed out. 198 population. The demo's sitting. Chilling. Minding his own business. Bombards blow it up. He hits it. The wooden bridge is on 22 health. The demo ship, he doesn't find it. The fire lancers are across. He's managed to make it through. Still 196 population, but the villagers are going to need to repair it. The, the wooden bridge has gone down. And only... How many have we got? We got 29 that have gotten through. It's not going to be enough for him to take this out. Still pumping demo ships towards this position needs to be needs to bring villagers forward to repair this the only problem is he's only got 33 villagers so he can't really do it plenty of spears here we can see that healing that's going on that's that bonus from the spirit way meanwhile oh my god i totally forgot we need to have split screen right now drongo what are you doing get on it son we need to get split screen going because we have got ourselves a base race. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the very first one of our split screen. We've got longbows in the back of the Chinese base. Meanwhile, we've got fire lancers trying to make a little bit of a push over towards that top side. Not going to be able to find it just yet as they are on the way back. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, my... <laughs> look at this technology. Oh, they didn't say it was possible. But now 2024 arrived. <laughs> look at them go. <laughs> Wow! Whoa! The new Chinese... <laughs> oh my god, man. Wow, did you see that? Am I drunk? What was that? Dude! Averly, you're on... <laughs> Averly's got three villages! Averly, you can't put on a show like that and then lose, mate. Are you serious? Did you... <laughs> Wow, the new, that, that's a new mechanic. Dude, he can't even get back into his own base. The wooden bridge is broken. He's got to try. He's got to try his hardest. He knows he can't actually go over the wooden bridge. Beast, Beastie had it all planned out. He's like, yeah, go for it. Go, go on. Yeah, try and get through. He shuts it down perfectly. And I think he just read the situation really well. He knew exactly what the plan was. And I think that's just one of those things where Avely probably needed to send the Fire Lancers first and then follow up with the Bombards onto that landmark in the north. I think that would have been the right play because ideally he wants to get over the wooden bridge and then down towards his position. Oh, man. That is absolute insanity. Meanwhile, towards the back of the base, how have we got, got on landmarks? Imperial Academy, Main TC, Astronomical Clock Tower, and we've got the Spirit Way. So there's no real threat from that landmark side of things. Averly with plenty. He's now going to start rebuilding 12 villages, only 147 food in the queue in the queue in the stockpile all right all right he's he's thinking about it is he going again if he pulls villagers he can do it 100 percent. like he just needs to pull vills repair get across slowly but steadily the bakshi is still alive now he beastie's got villagers to the north and vi villagers over towards the west as long as he like pulls them around i think he can definitely try and get this up uh get this up with 6k on uh, in the stockpile as well for wood I think it's absolutely on the cards that he could just look to repair that through what his opponent is doing. Still just working down all of the the uh, the farms in the back of the base. So 
little bit of a waste of population. But now, here we go. Averly attempting the final crossing. Looking to make their way across. Now, the first load is through and successful. Now the council hall will become the focus. Beastie needs to get units back here immediately. He needs to just delete units. He's done that. He needs to delete them 100%. Meanwhile, towards the bridge, units are going to make the cross. Bombards are here as well. And we've got ourselves a base race. It's not really a race. It's just about Beastie and whether he's going to be able to defend. Springwood's coming in. We're heading into the cinematic mode. You know we've got to do it. We've got to get in there. Cinematic mode enabled. Beastie now. Oh, the bridge! He's focusing the bridge! The bombards on the bridge! They managed to make it across. The demo ship's not going to be able to find it. Bill's going to be able to repair. Town Center going down. Two landmarks already taken out. Third one under pressure. Let's quickly check towards that top side and see if he's able to find the Berkshire. The single fire lancer camps it up and makes sure that it's not going to be found. The Town Center is looking for... Oh, the Randy! I didn't even see Randy's here to save the day! Randy Orton from the top rope! How do you even find it? Oh, my lord! Now looking to hit the King's Palace as well. Working its way through the Bombards, teeing off towards the Town Center. How is it going to go? He can't possibly get it. The Triple Bombard, it's going to go down the Town Center. He needs to focus the last landmark. This is it. It is do or die right now. The Bombards making their way over towards that top side. Ville's going to be pulled to repair. He's got 500 wood in the bank. Looking to focus down that last final landmark. Averly. For the game in EGC TV. First Bombard fires, second Bombard fires. First one goes down, second one goes down, and the third one remains with the Longbows still finding the target. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Beastie holds by the skin of his teeth and by far the best game of Age of Empires 4 I have seen this side of the weekend. I don't even know how to say that, man. That is incredible. What did we just witness? incredible game if you want to see more content like this make sure you check out egc tv this week and 15 gmt saturday and sunday you've just witnessed greatness